What are the pros and cons of investing? Well, it's what's gonna make you a millionaire. So there's two kinds of income we're gonna talk about, active income and passive income. Get a pen and paper, we have a lot to talk about. Specifically, I want to talk about the two hottest and longest standing kinds of investing in the market. Number two, how do you master the keys and the strategies to each investment option? And I'm going to teach you some new words and some new kind of learning patterns around that. And number three, we're going to take a deep dive into just investing in general and some processes to do that. And at the end, I'm going to talk about why it is imperative that you become an accredited investor. And no one talks about that. So number one, what are the two notorious, easiest things that everyone invests in because they've just always been around and always prevalent? Real estate and the stock market. So anybody that I know that's wealthy has real estate. Why? It also comes with a depreciation schedule so you can actually do some deductions against some of that highest income. The problem is people don't talk enough about the different strategies. So real estate has, I mean, I'm gonna say endless strategies. A lot of people are misinformed and I'm not a fan of the first thing to do if you want to be in real estate is wholesaling. Now, why? Because wholesaling it means you're going to put the deal together. You're going to find a seller that wants somebody who wants to sell a property. You're going to find a buyer and somewhere in between try to figure out how to get them to the title table to close the deal when you've never done a deal. So I actually don't think that's a beginner move. I think that's more sophisticated when you have buyers, you have sellers, you have databases. Now you can buy them, you can pay monthly subscriptions for buyer and seller databases, but do you still know how to do the transaction. What I like better is a fix and flip as a starter. It's not difficult. In fact, for those of you who are, you know, you don't have a big family, huge, huge direction that I had our student athletes, beginning NFL players, just beginning career people, even my son, you know, if, as long as they don't have kids, they don't really need a home. Why not buy a duplex, a fourplex, a sixplex, eightplex, and then you can fix up one side, move to the other side, fix up the other side, sell the entire property, move it on, continue making your revenues. So fix and flip is more realistic. Um, by the way, if you think about HGTV and all those like fix and flip, those are cute shows. They're done in Hollywood movie sets typically. They're not real. They're extremely entertaining and they're designed that way. Remember anything on TV is entertainment, not education. So it's interesting, cute ideas, not where you get your learning. I'm a real estate millionaire since 1999, and I have never not had real estate. I invest in real estate in multiple markets. I have multiple strategies. Fix and flips were some of the first things that I did, and then I moved into from fourplexes. Anything under five is not commercial. I moved immediately into commercial, so you could get a different kind of lending called non-recourse lending, and I have been in real estate since. I also own gas and oil, which you say, well, that's kind of in the real estate world, kind of. I'm also in cannabis. What did I do? first. After I got the license, I bought the land. So I'm a big land developer. We have construction companies. I'm in multiple markets, love real estate. Stock market, not so much a fan. It's very, it's an emotional arbitrage. Market makers move it up, move it down. It's highly controlled and emotional. So unless you are deeply involved, why are you parking your money with a financial planner and park what I call park and pray? You're parking your money and praying to God they do something for it. It's not their investing strategy. It needs to be yours. You need to own your investing strategy. The fastest way to become a millionaire is you make active money and you put it to work into assets, investing, and then you invest for passive income to come back. So that's what I call a wealth cycle. So you have active income, which means you need to go make money. So if all you have is a fixed income job, how are you going to have enough money to get your investing going? which is why most millionaires are 20, 30 year millionaires because they slowly put a little bit away every year. What if you could ramp up an entrepreneurial venture in addition to start putting 10, $20,000 a month away? I have clients putting over $100,000 away. I have one client doing half million a month into new investments because their companies are making that much money. So the real pattern of millionaires is to make it as an entrepreneur and invest. So what else are you investing in? And how else do you know what to invest in? Due diligence is not out here on the internet called the bathroom wall, or anybody can write anything. A lot of misinformation out here. You want to lean in to experts who understand investing. I understand real estate and gas and oil, cannabis, a lot of different alternatives. As far as the stock market, I'm going to give you a free app. It's a software. It's called iFlip. We are kicking Robinhood's rear as well as other softwares. Why? It's AI driven. It's AI driven with smart portfolios to take you in and out of the market. You can buy crypto portfolios, tech portfolios. You can do, you know, gas 
invested in oil and pipeline technologies. So you have the gamut. You can invest in anything out there. You can also do some of your own options trading out there. My son does some of that independently. So you can either control it or have it controlled in softwares. Much smarter, AI driven. You're not parking your money with a financial planner who, by the way, to get that license to invest your money, which they take all the fees and commissions on the front, it takes more time to get a license to cut hair than to get a financial services license to hold your money. So some of you, just that comment alone, you need to stop relying on financial planners and stock market people, and you need to lean in and start learning, which is why our community of Big Table exists. So you start leading your wealth and your family's money. So as far as mastering the keys to better investing, you wanna put them inside, again, corporate structure. So living that corporate life. So if you have real estate and it's being rented, you do not want your personal home or any of your personal assets at risk. So you wanna put it, typically real estate investments go inside an LLC or limited partnership for bigger family generational wealth moves. Mostly LLCs, they're easy to function. And then those are held in trust. You also though, as you grow in your investing, could have a management company, a marketing company, and put together buyers and sellers of different projects. I mean, buyers and sellers just aren't in real estate. There's buyers and sellers in business broking. I love buying and selling companies. Super fun, especially like super easy, what I call service-based companies. I just flipped a pizzeria, hair salon, nail salon. Those are easy companies to buy, fix, flip. So if you want to be a shark, you can totally be one, but you have to lean in and learn. See, you don't have a fear around money. You have a lack of knowledge around money and you have a lack of knowledge around investing. The reason our community has existed for so long, it's the investment education that we teach. So before I tell you, a few more of the biggest pros and some cons, I want you to subscribe to this channel. I want you to click the notification button. I want you to be here five days a week. And the more you want your kids to have generational wealth and be educated, have them have this as part of their weekly tasks. They need to watch the channel, share this with other people, share this with other people that have money. And a lot of you, you have lazy assets. You're sitting around on cash, a horrible stock portfolio, horrible 401k. Not all 401ks are treated equally. And why not have your own? own company, own your own solo 401k that you can tax like a Roth. There's so many different ways that you can put your money to work and protect it, number one, and then activate the tax code so you can actually do a lot of deductions against your highest income, which could be your W-2 job, your employment job. So share this with a lot of people, right? Binge watch. So actually, I'm going to give a link below. If I binge watch this channel, you can put a search bar. We have playlists. I've been here for over almost two years now. There is so much content here that you could learn from and and put it in categories how to make money, how to use credit cards, how to invest, how to use a team. I have tons and tons of categories that you can share and start putting your own conversations together with those who you spend time with. Now, when it comes to investing, the Wealth Cycle Investing book is my best book. So I need you to go grab that. So my Wealth Cycle Investing book, which is the third of the millionaire makers, I'm going to give you a deep, 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 deep discount on a very like simple ebook where you can start reading. And inside of there, here's some pros and cons. You need to learn what do you want for you and your family? As my son has grown into now becoming a CPA, he's like, mom, you really like our portfolio family estate has a lot of alternatives, right? I mean, I have a Broadway play that I own. I own the Black Hole, which is the member, Las Vegas Raider member fan base. I own, again, like I said, cannabis, real estate, businesses. I'm an investor and I flip. I own a lot of different stuff. He's like, mom, that's a lot to manage when he's going to be a CPA. And I said, so we'll start moving and transitioning your assets. So for some of you, your generational wealth conversation need to start immediately in the household with your teenage and then your young adults. A lot of people come into our big table community because you might be out listening to this and super successful, but are your children, are your 20 and 30 year old kids about ready to receive all the wealth you just did? So money rules. Right. When you get the Wealth Cycle book, go to the chapter Money Rules. I want you to start defining your money rules. I want you to go to the due diligence chapter. How do you do due diligence? And then how do you do some risk assessment? So there's all sorts of chapters that richly dig you deep into how do you invest? How do you come up with your rules? And the team needs to be around you for your investment strategy, not their investment strategy. Notice how many of you abdicate your investment plans to a financial planner. 
and you have nothing to do with it. Is that really how you want to even begin any generational wealth? I would submit that you probably can't. Now, the last thing I wanna say is why become accredited? Because you can invest in anything. PPMs are private placement memorandums, prospectuses, but to do that, you have to become accredited. So in our trajectory of becoming a millionaire, you gotta make your first $100,000, then 250 as an individual or 350 as a couple. That makes you accredited and allows you to invest in any alternative investment anywhere in the world. So if you wanna learn more about that, call our office, go to asklaurel.com, ask any question, make a request, and we are gonna be right here helping you become accredited.